All right, so we're on to uh, phase two. Uh, the first mods uh, worked uh, pretty well. So we're going to um, get rid of the uh, EPA or stock ECU and swap it out for the GYTR uh, programmable um, ECU. The um, simplest way to get in here, obviously, is to pull off the seat. Uh, pull off your side cover. Um, I didn't go through that. I'm assuming if you're uh, going to be swapping ECUs out, you know how to do that. So we're going to pop this in. Uh, generally, uh, you're going to want to, um, as much as you can, uh, clean this out so it's uh, nice and uh, sanitary. I like to clean my, uh, my workspaces uh, anyhow. Um, if you're in there, you might as well get it cleaned up. Uh, get the current layer of whatever state you live in um, off of there. So uh, we're going to get this thing unplugged and plug in a new one see what happens. Uh, the instructions that came with the kit um, basically tell you to um, get a uh, certified technician and uh, refer to the um, service manual. So I got the Big Blue Book of Knowledge that comes with it, which is a really nice service manual, tells you how to do everything on the bike, and it refers nothing to the ECU. So uh, let's see how this thing comes apart, and uh, we'll, we'll walk you through it. So apparently this just slides out from this rubber holder. It's a little wet because I just washed it. There we go. just slides out like that. this out from its plastic sarcophagus here. Plug it back in. Now I'm not aware of the anything that's telling me that I need to reset anything or anything like that. So we are just going on the blind assumption that this is all going to work just like it is. So, make sure all the wires are in there correctly. Nice and sanitary. This may look a little bit different than yours because there's a sick ass uh, brake switch, sick ass racing brake switch in there. So it's divided so that the uh, brake light works as a brake tail light. That's just, uh, you'll see something different. What you'll see is just one of these connectors if your bike is stock. All right, let's see if she fires up. Choke would be nice. She started. So uh, apparently you've got to remove your um, exhaust plug. Uh, it says remove before flight. So you've got to have instructions. We have ignition. That's phase two. And uh, we'll go out and... Uh, trail test it and see uh, 
see how it works out. So field test for phase two with the programmable ECU in there and then the phase one checks of uh, open baffle and replace throttle screw or throttle stop screw. Uh, thumbs up! The uh, stock settings or the baseline settings on the uh, programmable ECU uh, made a thousand percent difference over the uh, non-programmable EPA ECU and uh, taking away the cold starting issues, the flame outs, which I'm assuming is, is really from a lean condition uh, to passion missions. So, this is going to be the last phase for a little bit. I'm going to run the base map in this ECU and look at uh, look at the different maps and see what I want to do. I think the first one I'm going to try is one of the ones that comes with Yamaha suggested ones which uh, puts a punch down low and uh, even power throughout and then I'm going to try the Aussie map which is what everybody everybody seems to like. So appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Also, uh, I'm working through another series for suspension settings. And uh, don't forget to check that one out. Appreciate you watching. Comment, subscribe, like, and share. Adios.